Good morning, folks. Today we're going to see some eye candy from Chandra, look at the weirdest form of aurora on Earth, and see an excellent literature review of stellar super flare potential. But we've got a few notes on our star, so we start with the last 24 hours on the sun. Several small M-class solar flares, a filament collapsed on the north, and right after that, a sizable eruption came from just behind the incoming limb. We've got sunspots and an eruptive area turning in, so let's go ahead and dive deeper, starting with the spots. Three big groups departing on the right, very quiet run they had so far across the Earth-facing half. On the left, we see the smaller sunspots incoming, but at least one has considerable morphology, and obviously there's more coming behind them. Let's look at that limb eruption, 171 and 304 angstroms. This point is just over the horizon out of view, but the plasma release was captured by SDO and on SOHO coronagraphs. The eruption will miss our planet, but its source is coming in right behind those other spots, so we keep eyes open. The eye candy is up next, as we are reminded that our eyes are just not equipped for seeing space. When we switch from visible light to x-rays, the star-spangled region lights up tremendously in folks, that is all from just one star, a pulsar rotating quickly with powerful magnetic fields. This was part of the ultra-cool star story we hit yesterday. Up next, very interesting that aurora most often occur during the most extreme solar wind enhancements, but the weirdest kind of aurora comes when the solar wind dies down and becomes extremely weak. Pure electron-driven aurora occur when the solar wind is very low, as electrons take over the interplanetary magnetic field connection between the Earth and Sun, and they stream directly into the upper atmosphere. Last but not least, fantastic literature review on super flares from various kinds of stars, including the potential of the Sun. They review literally everything and confirm what most of you should remember. The Sun likely has its peak super flares every 3,000 and 6,000 years, with marks at the X500 plus and X1000 levels respectively. It's a bad day to be dependent on electricity in the solar system. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.